case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In dissecting what led to the lawsuit, Garner allegedly paid Chandler $268,000, and TLMC paid Garner's company $2.3 million for nursing services. Shoemaker subsequently demanded money from Chandler and Corkern, alleging that Garner was in debt to him. After Chandler coughed up $12,000, Corkern refused to pay Shoemaker $250,000 for the use of the nonprofit in the acquisition of TLMC. Shoemaker obtained a loan of $250,000 from the USDA under the false premise that the funds would be used for the hospital's day-to-day operations. Upon reviewing the case, the district court found Garner and Shoemaker guilty of conspiring to pay off Chandler in order for him to recommend Garner's company for contract nursing jobs. Our understanding of the court's decision deepens when we consider the court's approach to the interpretation of any person in relation to the statute 42 U.S.C. section 1320A7B-B2-B. Though the district court acquitted Garner and Shoemaker on the charge of conspiracy due to insufficient evidence, the court found enough evidence to convict Garner, Shoemaker, and Chandler of conspiring to bribe Shoemaker. The confirmation of Shoemaker's other convictions and the remanding of the case for sentencing came after the court concluded that the district court erred in granting a judgment of acquittal for the conspiracy to pay kickbacks to Shoemaker and the health care fraud charges against Garner. In conclusion, this case illustrates the layers of our legal system and the careful scrutiny applied by the courts in interpreting legislation, pursuing truth, and ensuring justice. Bringing such cases to the fore illuminates the darker corners of our society Yet it is through their resolution that we can understand the importance and indispensability of rule of law in maintaining societal order and integrity. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.